Hello everyone, welcome to Redline Collectibles. Today we have yet another exciting Redline box opening. This box came in a couple days ago and I've been waiting to get this puppy and open it up and show you some beautiful red lines. I love how this particular collector packages the red lines, you know, really takes care of the, you know, the little details so that by the time the car gets here, it is in fantastic condition. So the first one is an absolutely gorgeous T for two. Ooh, an original top. We talked about that in the video a while back, but uh, whew, man, lime yellow. Oh, baby, it's clean. That's a nice little humdinger right there. Let's put him in the, let's put him in the back here. We'll line everything up so we can look at these together. I, you know, I enjoy box openings because it's kind of like Christmas, isn't it? Christmas in December, in <laughs> December, Christmas in September. <laughs> hey, white interior, little silver shadow action. Love these and when they're nice and clean like this. A couple little edges, nothing major. Put him back by Bob. Bob Ross is our mascot. And, uh, oh, this is a chappy. I like, look at this. Look how he puts the wing attached separately. Thank you, Mr. Collector, for doing that. I really appreciate it. That way we know that it's protected along the way. This is a reproduction wing, but I like that I can offer a Chaparral 2G uh, complete. And hey, Hong Kong red. Nice here. Yeah, it's a little sweetheart. This is a... Uh, Hong Kongs are a little bit harder to find. Oh, where did it go? A little bit harder to find clean because of the um, the manufacturing process there in HK with the uh, inconsistency of paint. So it's always nice to get a nice clean one like this. Ooh, no peg stop. That would be an early run. Stickers, edges, nice. That's a sweetheart right there. Put him in the back. Oh, here's something wrapped up in a bubble. Those are always a little special, aren't they? Sure. Looks like a Volkswagen. Looks like a... <laughs> that was close. <laughs> a 69 Aqua Coupe. Beauty. Woo, shiny and glossy. Let's open her up here and see. I always look to see if there's any buttons in there. And it looks like I see one... No? Uh uh. No buttons, but also there's no there's no back nick on that on that rumble seat cover. That's always nice. It's got a sweet shine to it. Put him there. Something flat. Feels like a fifty seven classic. I ran a couple 57s the other day. Am I close? Yes. Ooh, light blue. Come out of there, you little sweetie pie. Nice white interior. Light blue, guys. Mmm. I'll adjust that tire. This is a late run. And a uh, little 57 action. Put him in the back too. Another bubble wrap. What are you? Hmm. Lola GT70 in orange. Orange is a coveted color. People like that. 
Yeah, collectors like to put some orange pizzazz into their red line collection. And certainly I can see why. Those are nice. Uh, that's a nice finish. Here is a heavyweight. Looks like it's going to be a toe service in blue. White interior is always a little bit more coveted. Clean windshield. Nice reds. It's got the toe service on both sides. The stickers are both there. Got a miss punch right there, or I should say a spin. The spinning post machine in Hong Kong wasn't quite set up correctly, and that's why you get those miss, those miss uh, spun situations on some of your red lines. You'll see those here and there. You know, back in the day, at the time, who was thinking that they would be such a collector item? And nowadays, look what you've got. So I'm going to say a hot heap on this one. Just by feeling. Oh, it's Hong Kong, too, in really nice blue. Mm -hmm. A little tougher to find these with consistent paint. The Hong Kong Hot Heap. Beautiful. Hey, how do you like the collection of Bob Ross memorabilia in the back there? There have been some very nice people, our guests, and maybe even some of you watching that have found in your travels, you know, some Bob Ross memorabilia. <laughs> and uh, over the years, I've been collecting that because people are so nice to me, and they send me these beautiful... Bob Ross memorabilia items, figurines, Legos, bobbleheads. Look at this light blue with white interior split an image. Light blue, ice blue. That's a toughie. That's a toughie for sure. Next one on the docket. All wrapped up in nice bubble wrap. What could this be? I always like the feet. Oh, another Chaparral 2G. Let's look. Again, very meticulous wrapping. The, the wing is reproduction. The question is, what color and where is the origin of this one? Oh, man. Beautiful olive. Whoa. What a shiner. There's a showstopper right there. And also, you know, notice that they didn't put the stickers on there. There are some collectors out there, maybe you, that enjoy a clean red line without the stickers. Is that you? Is that someone like you that, you know, just like some clean with all, all jazzed up, uh, however it was? Now, there's some, you know, there's some people that like them both ways. I... I have nothing to say either way about it, but, um, you know, I would say I get more comments about non-stickered cars than I do stickers. Now, the stickers have to be put on really clean to make them look nice. Here's a Mod Quad in rows. Oh, that's a sweetie pie. Let's check the glass. Doesn't fall out. <laughs> yeah, you you know if you're a collector of this particular casting, there is issues with sometimes the glass not cooperating. And uh, that one is intact. Mod Quad in rose, sweetie. Put it right there. A couple more here. Here's a little guy. Let's see, what could this be? I'm going to say probably an open wheel, maybe? Open wheel, IndyCar from 1969 era. Let's look. Maybe I'm wrong. Looks like a uh, Lotus Turbine. Beautiful blue. Some Kleenex dust on it. That's a clean one. Lotus Turbine like that STP sticker on there, isn't that cool? Yeah. Andy Granatelli and the whole, you know, when it was really, you know, Mario Andretti and, and, uh, Parnelli Jones.
Feels like a cruiser. Couple little marks on this one, but uh, nice caps. This is the capped version. What do I mean by that? Well, when you look at the tires underneath there, you see that it's not a bearing wheels. These are capped wheels. So it's a little bit later in the production. It was a little bit less expensive, evidently, for the Red Line, for the Mattel Toy Company to make those uh, with that um, with that selected type of tire. Well, that's that's it for the first box. Let's zero in here a little bit so you can see the tail of the tape. This feels like a bug. Custom Volkswagen. Sure enough. In olive. Ooh, no slouch here. Oh, it is missing the roof. I'll adjust that tire. U.S. Olive Custom Volkswagen. And, last but not least, what a beauty, the Claren in Rose. That's a little, that's a, that's a nice color. A couple little blemishes from the factory. Late run Rose McLaren. So that's it for the first box. There is the, uh, there are the beauties for you to look at. A little bit of Bob Ross memorabilia, as I mentioned to you. There's the newest one back there. Bob. So the T for two, Silver Shadow, Coupe, Chappie, Lola, 57, Bob, Lotus, Turbine, Mod Quad, another Chappie, and Olive, Splitting Image in Light Blue, Dark Blue is a 50 uh, Hot Heap, and then a Blue with White Interior Toe Service. Fire Chief Cruiser, Olive Bug, and McLaren in Rose. If you like the content, please give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and share if you will. I do run uh, most every Tuesday night on a Facebook site called Studio Redline. And also, I have a Buy It Now website called RedlineCollectibles.com. Do stop by for a Buy It Now opportunity for super clean red lines. Hope to see you. Stop by often. Thanks, everybody. Talk soon. God bless.